Hey you guys, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Yeah, we're back. All right. Let's get into it then. You gotta save to like this better than you do anything else. <laughs> Doki Doki Literature Club. 30, 35 views. What? Anything else? Three, four views. Okay, fine. I get it. I get it. Okay, so I guess these are the poems that we're gonna read for the uh, festival. Eh, alright. So I guess we'll just start with the Yuri like usual. <gasps> Smirk! Your writing has only improved these last few days. Every poem you've shown me has been nothing short of spectacular. Really? I can really feel the emotions. That's because I'm aiming it for you, Yuri. I'm a little envious, even. No, don't be. You're great. I don't think it ever came to me this naturally. Yuri, that's the wrong way to put it. This never did come naturally to me. But I've been able to improve myself so much thanks to you. You were really the example I was chasing after. Is... is that so? Yuri gently smiles to herself. This feeling... I'm so glad I got the chance to share my writing. I never thought it would feel like this. Um... <clears throat> ah, wait, what? Uh, I remember you mentioning that yesterday. I can't believe that you're so good at something you've never even shared with anyone. It's kind of a shame. Maybe, but... It's not like I really had a choice. What do you mean? Well... Yuri smiles sadly. Hmm... Smirk, during lunchtime, I eat by myself. Yeah, so do I- so did I in school. Did you know that? And who cares? It's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading. In fact, I have- I always have some books with me. I could say I really enjoy reading. Well, that's one way to put it anyway. But, books are so full of amazing and inspiring people. People you want to fall in love with. Or people you just know could, would make a really good friend. Cheerful people who always put a smile on your face. Or deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life. Or when you look at it, so when you look at it that way, I'm surrounded by friends every day. You know? And those friends don't laugh at me. Yeah, your real friends don't laugh at you either. They don't tease me for spacing out all the time. They don't make fun of my body type. What's wrong with your body type? It's like ideal. I wish I had boobs that big. Ugh. And... And they don't hate me for acting like a know-it-all. Well, no one likes a know-it-all, so stop acting like that. At least try not to act like that. People say that about you? Nah. I'm not a know-it-all, Smirk. It's the opposite. I don't know anything. Isn't that worse? I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to make people see me as normal. I don't even know how to make myself happy. Let me tell you how to make yourself happy. Yeah. You got a soda? And a computer? And you're happy. Alright, there. And all I can do with them is read and write. But it wasn't until now that I started sharing it with you. That I really understood what I was missing all this time. But I haven't done anything. Oh, that's wrong. Just being patient and respectful. It's really important to me. I know I'm a difficult person, Smirk. I speak too slowly. I second-guess myself all the time. I read too deeply into things. But every time, you've always treated me just like anyone else. It's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. But that's why every time I talk to you, I just feel really happy. 
I see. Well, I treat you how you deserve to be treated, Yuri. And if other people don't see it that way, then screw them. I mean, I joined this club hoping I would make friends. Now you join it for cute girls, so you could try to get laid, you know what I'm just saying. And I would say I've had at least one success. What are you? Um, if you put it that way, ah, uh, she's just been friend zoned. Friend zoned. Sorry, Yuri, I can't control my stupid character. Yeah, we really are friends now, aren't we? Yuri puts her head in her hands, but this time, she's smiling as she does it. Do you want to show me your poem? Yeah, I do. Ghost Under the Light, Part 2 The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing in the distance, a blue-green light flickers. A lone figure crosses its path, a silhouette obstructing the eerie glow. My heart pounds. The silhouette grows closer, closer. I open my umbrella, casting a shadow to shield me from visibility. But I'm too late. He steps into the streetlight. I gasp and drop my, drop my umbrella. The light flickers. My heart pounds. He raises his arm. Time stops. This music is not fitting. The only indication of movement is the amber light flickering against his outstretched arm. The flickering light is in rhythm with the pounding of my heart, teasing me for succumbing to this forbidden emotion. Have you ever heard a ghost feeling warmth before. Giving up on understanding, I laugh. Understanding is overrated. I touch his hand. The flickering stops. Ghosts are blue-green. My heart is amber. Mmm. Mysterious. That's really good, though. Like, these poems are really good. You know, if they're really dark, they're just really good. Finishing the poem... I start to hand it back to Yuri, but instead of taking it from me, she looks away. Uh, do you dislike it? Uh, no, of course not. It's really dark and spooky, but I like it. Just don't really know how sure it is fun. Despite Yuri's poems usually being cryptic, it wasn't hard to figure out what this one was about. Hey. I don't know if I'll be able to explain this one. That's fine. I understand this one. Hmm. Yuri's having an even harder time speaking than usual. Does this one mean a lot to you? Yuri nods. I'm not really good with words, but I'm happy that you shared it with me. So, thank you. And I hope we keep spending time together. Despite my inability to make eye contact, I see a faint smile merge on Yuri's lips. I once again try to hand the poem back to her, but instead, Yuri gently takes my hands and pushes them back toward me. I hesitate in response to her warm touch. You can, um, promise. Once again, Yuri falls in, fails in a form. <sighs> Yuri fails to form a complete sentence, and so did I. You mean I can keep it? Yuri nods. I'd love to. Again, Yuri faintly smiles, as if she doesn't want me to notice. You always, you always make me feel nice. Yeah, I know I'm not good with people, but I hope that I can return the favor sometime. Yeah, don't worry. I think you do a good job. Yuri finally turns back towards me. I guess we should move on before Monica says something. But I'm sure we'll talk again later. Yeah, I'm sure we will. With that, Yuri timidly smiles at me, and I return to my seat so I could put her poem away. Who should I show my poem to next? Uh, I guess we'll show it to Monica next. It intrigues me. Hi, Smirk. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people? Uh, I have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it will turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. 
Anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. Hmm. Your style has gotten so refined, Smirk. Mary's been teaching you a lot of things, hasn't she? Uh, I guess so. Yeah, <laughs> I've been noticing how much time you spend with her. I think I've heard her say more words these past couple of days than she's talked in the whole year. Not sure how you did it, but that's pretty impressive. Well, she just needs some patience and a way to talk about all the things in her head, I guess. I'm still getting the hang of it myself. Hmm. You're certainly putting in a lot of effort. You must really like her. Uh, that, that, that's a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's awfully suspicious, you know. Spending time with her in the club room every day. Reading that edgy novel with her. Well, I, uh... I, it's just, I feel... The bad she has a hard time to socializing. And it makes me want to make... She doesn't spend all her time alone, you know? Besides, uh, novels are too bad either, you know? <laughs> alright, alright. I get you. Just... Be careful, all right? I know that Yuri isn't used to opening herself up, so if something bad happens while she's vulnerable, then it could be really hard for her. Her books aren't a total escape from reality. They're just a bandage. Say like that like I'm gonna hurt her. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't really mean that. If anything, she might accidentally hurt herself. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Uh, alright. That's weird. Hmm. The Lady Who Knows Everything An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. A lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am. A feather. Lost... Adrift the sky, victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search. I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains, the last dim star glimmering in the turlet sky. Until one day, the wind ceases to blow. I fall, and I fall and fall, and fall even more, gentle as a feather, a dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend, your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. That's interesting. Hmm. This isn't like the other ones, this one's slightly different. You know... I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sorts of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. See, never really put that much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical, because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. Seems like everyone's club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy, <laughs> right? Because they're all dark and mysterious creatures. Okay, so if Monica say say Monica is actually like kind of a glitchy thing, like I thought, that means she would know all the answers because she has access to. She is in the internet. She has access to all this, so she has all the answers. So everything's lost a meaning. She's floating around without any meaning, like a feather. And the the lady who has who has her by the thumb and forefinger 
It's like on a mouse. Bring your thumb and forefinger, that's where you click. Maybe, I don't know, I'm probably just really pulling this off my ass now. <laughs> Let's ignore that. <laughs> Are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Uh, yeah, that. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Because in the game, real life, or kind of 3D, but in the game, the... Anyway, yes, Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share writing because you're afraid that it's not good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good, or okay, or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it, and the things you can work on. But it's much more encouraging that way, and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. It's weird. Who should I show my poem to next? Uh, I guess let's show it to Sayori. Good friend Sayori. Hmm. Hmm. It's, it's nice, I guess. Come on, I could already tell you don't like it. Well... You don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Hopefully, Yuri. Eh? I, I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe... Uh, that's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends, just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. And you're happy too, right? In this club? Well, of course I am. Good! That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Smirk. Sorry. Is there something wrong? Huh? No, uh, nothing. <laughs> I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Alright, just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else now. If you insist. Yeah! I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Alright? But Monica wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sari cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. Hmm. I wonder what's up with her. She didn't even have a poem for me to read. That's weird. Ah. That's really weird. That's okay. Yeah, no thanks. Eh? You didn't even... Next! Oh, wow, that was... <laughs> okay, okay. alright. Wow, that's, um... That read through was faster than expected. Okay, you three. Ah! We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start trying to figure out... Hold on a second. Is it just me, or do you say something strange just now? Huh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from usual catchphrase when addressing the club. A <laughs> catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. <laughs> Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Ah, seems you're right, you just not noticed. <sighs> Sorry, always helps slide the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she just wanted to pee. That's okay. Please show some decency. Oh, come on. Ah, uh, she actually... Uh, she wasn't feeling too well and went home early. So, so. I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all times not to go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? 
so much for you to be all lovey-dovey. Uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sari. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I don't want to force it. <sighs> that curious expression come from Yuri, of all people? Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier, and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so... Let's decide that... Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Mitsuki will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them, and different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. As for myself... I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sari will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri... Yuri, you can... Uh, um... <gasps> Guys... Can you help me come up with something for Yuri? Um... I'm useless... No, no uh, that's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know? <laughs> no, 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 Suki's padding too? Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sari enough credit, but... You can tell the things that are even harder for you. On you when she's not around. <laughs> that may be the case. But if I can also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri, you have a beautiful handwriting, you know? So could you make some banners and decorations to help set up the atmosphere? Atmosphere? Um, about that, I... I love atmosphere! Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Atmosphere! Atmosphere! Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway... That just leaves you, Smirk. The one who is truly useless. <laughs> Don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would be really appreciative of that. Ah, that's... I'm also suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members. How on earth am I supposed to respond to suggestion like that? Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to peek, there's always some dirty work that I can give you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, but I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the bacon on your own. Smirk may not like to be around if you... Only make him out to be a nuisance. Mmm, sass. So, therefore, you may be more suited to assisting with one of the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making an excuse for Smirk to... But what are you saying? It'll be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Smirk to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? Oof. Oh man, so I'm sure he is interested in... You literally just said... I I'm surprised as well. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I was just saying though. Jeez, we just settled this already. Yeah, Smirk. You're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Ah. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna choose Yuri. Of course. Hmm. Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. Of course, I'm gonna go with. Ugh, that's annoying. There's an option to go to Yuri. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like. From an autumn fish on awful dating day kind of view, I feel like you should just go Yuri because, you know, you have to keep choosing the path that leads with the person you're trying to go with. But then, like, sorry. 
Mary's not feeling well, Mary's not doing well, and she is my friend. You can't just spend in friends. Band in friends. It's weird how she's an option on there. Hmm. I'm gonna pick Sayori. I... I have to. I mean... It's going to be anyone, but I prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we've all, we're already neighbors, and... But Monica said... Monica said that Sayori's helping her. Jeez. You really hate us that much. I don't know. Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Just think of the club, okay? So that's not even an option. You pick sorry and they get mad. And that's not even an option. That's weird. That's not even an option to pick sorry. Uh, probably be most helpful, use useful to help me out with Yuri. Me? Are you serious? Why would you? Natsuki. I can already tell you're about to say something mean. N no. I was just saying. <sighs> so, you'll be helping out Yuri then, Smirk? Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things. So, I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to hand the baking yourself? I mean, yeah. If I already said it would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour, isn't she always? So, is that everything we need to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited might not be the right word. I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Smirk? Me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Natsuki! What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. Oh no, that's not what I mean at all. <sighs> Your anxiously glances between everyone in the room. I'm sorry for this. I didn't really know how Smirk picked me. And also, cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They go really well with my tea. And nothing I do, or even for the event will compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. Why? Um, uh, well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that, but you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I know, I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by yours words. And she already has trouble with words. Trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri is trying to sound like sorry. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell if she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. N no, I kind of appreciate it. I I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. But I'm going to say this. Mm -hmm. You better get- <laughs> You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. <sighs> I believe you. Yeah. I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Natsuki out the door as they chat between each other. Uh, um... Huh? I turn around. Sorry, I realized I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe it slipped my mind. Should I give him my phone number? Yeah. I think that would be the best way, yes. Alright then. Yuri and I exchange phone numbers. Okay. Then, I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Eh? My house? Is, is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought I'd be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. Uh, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I prefer going to your house. What's your house look like? Is it a demon layer? Probably. Alright, uh, in that case, it won't be a problem. Decide so not to press Yuri further for a reason, because it's probably a demon lair, and she's probably full of, like, hostages and blood and guard stuff and really kinky stuff. Uh, it's not like it should matter much either way, so I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope I manage to make myself useful in somewhere. 
I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Smirk. I think that would make a very productive team. Even if he only chose me because he felt bad or something. Wait, uh, you don't actually think that, do you? Hmm. I, I don't know. It's difficult to go with any other reason you may have chosen me. Nah, I'm trying to get laid. Yeah, my character's trying to get laid here. That's why it's... Wow. You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. But... Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Eh? I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? Eh? Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I, I believe you. As if it took her tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out the door and Yuri follows. I can't believe this. Yuri's going to be coming to my house on Sunday? Even though I would have preferred to do a sorry, uh, my anxiety still shoots through the roof. I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. But who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel nervous that Sarah finds out about this? It's not like we feel that way about each other. Well, actually, she feels that way about me, but I don't feel that way about her. Ah, oh, man. Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. It's already Sunday. I'm getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri's clearly an introvert, and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt she'll open up a little bit, but it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we've been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard them thing from Sierra since she left the club early the other day. Uh, alright, so before we go, I guess check up on Yuri, or whatever we're gonna do, and then see Yuri. Or, before we check up on Sari, and then hang out with Yuri. I'm going to just end it right here. They're out of time for now. So, I have a feeling we'll get to some cool stuff in the next video, so keep an eye out for that. Hopefully, we will. If you've seen this story before on someone else's channel, you'll probably know if we are or not. Uh, so thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye! <laughs>